Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been so excited to film this video today because it's been a while since I've filmed on this channel to be fair. Um, and yeah, I've popped into Zara as you can tell by the title, picked up a few nice bits. It's quite a small haul, but nevertheless, really nice pieces. So if you wanna see what I picked up, then please keep watching. And if you do enjoy this video, please don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe down below. Okay, so I placed this order online, so I did get the usual um, like cardboard Zara box, but I also got a blue bag, which I've never seen Zara do this before. Um, I guess if it's like better for the environment then I'm all for it, like it's absolutely fine but I was just a bit confused when it like arrived at the door because obviously just by this blue packaging it's not obvious at all that it's from Zara so I was a little confused what it actually was but yeah this is a Zara order inside so yeah I think that's new for Zara. Right so I'll start off with the first piece, to be fair this isn't necessarily like a spring item because it is a black blazer. Um, yeah, obviously black isn't very spring summer, however, I'm still going to wear it. I always tend to wear dark colours in spring and summer still anyway. Um, I need to venture out a bit more in a two colour, but yeah. Picked this up mainly because I don't think I have a black blazer in my wardrobe anymore. I used to have one, don't anymore. And yeah, these are just absolute staples in a wardrobe. They're so easy to style up, dress up, dress down and... I do tend to be a sucker for a Zara blazer. I really like them, so I'm hoping that this one is gonna be like my new staple because I don't know where my old one's gone. So yeah, this one is lovely quality. It's got shoulder padding. I haven't tried this one on yet, so hopefully it's a nice fit. Um, this one was 49 99 and I got it in a size medium. I was struggling really on what size to go for just because if I wear it more casually then I like it to be a bit more oversized but sometimes if I'm wanting it to look a bit more formal then I like it more fitted so hopefully medium could be like a good in between. Um, I mean yeah we'll see when I try it on anyway. Okay then next this one actually is more spring somewhat appropriate. I got a white like cream pair of jeans. I actually haven't ever owned a white pair of jeans before but I wanted to try these ones because white jeans I do feel like do pair nicely with a lot of things and obviously in the summer when you're wearing like those lighter neutrals um, that's the vibe that I'm going for. So this is just a high rise like wide leg pair of trousers and I'm really excited to style these. I did recently get those like Adidas Sambas and I'm thinking these would pair really nicely with the Sambas. Um, the ones that I got were actually a black pair because I was just feeling the black pair at the time. Um, so this paired with the Sambas obviously and then like a black tank top I'm thinking would look quite cute in the summer. Um, hopefully these fit nicely and are long enough because I am almost five foot eight. So yeah, I need all the length. I got these in a size 12. Um, for those of you who don't watch me regularly, I do tend to size up in jeans. So yeah, you'll see how that fits on. Okay, then next I got another pair of trousers. It's like these um, wide leg grey pant type of trousers. I really just love the look of like smart trousers paired with some trainers and especially like good length trousers that like maybe touch the floor with like a pair of chunky white trainers. Um, these ones also do have that like white stripe inside because I guess you could maybe turn them down if that's what you were like wanting to go for. Um, I haven't tried anything on in this haul yet so you'll just have to see in the try and clips how it fits but yeah I really like them and I really like the shade of grey as well. I just yeah I love styling smart trousers in a casual way I just think it gives it such a cool look and um, they do have pockets and little belt loops as well and um, I got this in a size medium which I think is a size 10 in Zara and these were 32.99 then next I can never go without some Zara basics so I saw this little like knitted tank on there and I just thought it was really cute. I don't really have anything in this material and it's really lightweight and thin so it's going to be so appropriate for summertime and um, springtime if it gets warm. This one I liked as well because it's quite long in length. I do have quite a few cropped versions of tanks so I wanted one that's a little bit longer that would tuck nicely into a pair of trousers so that was the thought process behind this. It's got like ribbed 
detailing going around the neckline and the sleeves and then it's also a high neck and like a low cut on the arms so i think it'll look quite flattering on hopefully and i just got this one in a size medium and this was 17.99 okay the next this is gonna be a love or hate um i did see this cropped trench jacket um I really wanted to bag the like Arquette cropped trench like last year but it wasn't really in my budget if I'm honest so when I saw this one on the website definitely wanted to give it a go. The only thing I'm thinking though having looked at it is that it actually looks really big so I don't know if it's gonna give me the vibe that I want it to give, if it's gonna look cool oversized or if it's just gonna look a bit out of proportion we'll see um i did opt for this one in a size medium so i think there might have been a couple versions of cropped trench coats and um, maybe the other one was belted this one isn't it does have like the what's it called like a kind of belt essentially but like around the arms i'm absolutely butchering what that'll be called but anyway i do like it when they have those detailing on the sleeves the buttons are like a nice tortoiseshell button like a really dark brown and then obviously it's got a lovely collar it's super lightweight as trench coats usually are and this was 49.99 okay then next i actually really like this this is like a beige linen shirt so it's super lightweight i just really really like the color of this i think this is going to be an absolute staple in what i wear in summertime because sometimes i don't necessarily like having my whole arms out so i was thinking when you have things like this that you can just throw on over the top of it like a cute tank top maybe like the white one i just showed you earlier and then with this thrown on the top that'll look really cute these also pair nicely just over like some dresses as well like bodycon dresses so yeah i think i could get a lot of use out of this and obviously i love my neutrals so yeah i think this is just stunning um what size did i go for I got this one in a size medium. I'm hoping that it's gonna be oversized enough because I do like these when I use them as overshirts to be quite big. So if not, then I'll just exchange it for a large. And this was $25.99. I think I'll show you what I'm wearing next. So basically I've got this denim black shirt that I'm wearing at the minute. I'll do a full try and clip for this as well. Um, I actually got this in Australia because I have been to Australia recently, just got back one week ago, had the best time. But anyway, yeah, I wanted to pop into the Zara there just to see what kind of bits they have in there and it was a vibe, let me tell you, it was an absolute vibe. I really struggled not to come home and fill my suitcase up basically with loads of things so I did somehow walk out with just one thing um which was yeah just this shirt i think mainly because i saw it and i just knew how much i'd wear it like i'm gonna get so much use out of this shirt um i'm not sure if it's on the website in the uk um maybe if it isn't then maybe it will come online um all i can tell you is that in australia it was 75 Australian dollars, which I think is about 40 pounds. I'm sure there'll be tons of things online, even if this isn't stocked in Zara on other websites anyway for similar things. But yeah, just really liked this one. Okay, then next I picked up this gorgeous uh, denim. I think it's classed as a denim shirt. Um, obviously, I'd probably wear it as an actual jacket because it is quite big to be fair. I just really love the wash of denim on this. It's a beautiful, like, mid to light wash denim and denim always comes out in summer as well so yeah i think i would get a lot of use out of this i just love it um as i said it's very big it's like really wide as well like when i hold it back super wide so it definitely would be more on the jacket side for me um i got this in a size medium as well and it was 45.99 Obviously, things like this, if I could find like a matching shade of denim, I would actually pair this with some denim jeans as well, because I think that'll be a big trend this summer, a lot of denim on denim. But otherwise, obviously denim is just so easy to pair anyway. Um, again, I'll be throwing this on over little tank tops like I will with the linen shirt. So yeah, love this, and it's got cute little pockets as well. Okay, I'm on to the last piece now. So, 
I've seen a lot of people get these like bomber style jackets on Zara and I am all for it, I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely love them. So I saw this one and loved this. Um, this one is cropped and it does look like more formal because it's in like a cotton material. It's not like the like windbreaker, like puffer style materials that bomber jackets are normally in. So I do really like this one and um, we'll see when I try it on because I just think it's gorgeous. It's got like the stud poppers and yeah, this can be worn really formally. However, because I have seen the collared versions online as well and I also do love the collared versions because again, it makes it look more formal. Um, I might purchase one of those as well and then maybe like compare them because obviously I don't need to, so yeah. But this one is beautiful. If you're not as much of a collar person, then this one might be a great alternative as like a formal jacket. I like wearing things like this with like, um, like tailored trousers, that kind of thing. I got this one in a size medium and it was $49.99. Okay, so that's everything that I picked up from Zara. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and like the pieces that I picked up and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you for watching.